man. Y'all already know all things sports and entertainment. And we can completely disagree, but let's get this conversation started. So, Terrence Bud Crawford had a deadline to uh, fight against Sebastian Fondora. My bad, y'all. I don't have my notes in front of me, but uh, I know Terrence Crawford has a belt. Sebastian Fondora has two belts at 154 pounds. And um, they've been playing this game because Terrence Crawford was... He fought Earl Spence on PBC, and then, you know, he beat Earl Spence up real bad, and then Earl Spence had kind of went away. But now, you're hearing reports that Sebastian Fondora um, will be fighting Earl Spence. Look at these. Oh, my God. Y'all see, the, you see these, these, these kids walking down the street, but then if, I, if, if they wanted them to get hit, then I'm the bad guy, right? Anyway. Y'all just walking in the middle of the street in Georgia with damn near no street lights. But anyway, they're supposed to get it. They're supposed to be, it's rumor. So basically, what was it, last year or earlier this year, Fondora fought Tim Tazu. He beat Tim Tazu. Tim Tazu, I know he had a, Tazu had a bad cut. Earl Smith steps into the ring. Now you're hearing these reports that they might end up fighting Fondora and Earl Spence. And uh, I seen 78's video. Uh, asking as well, salute to the general, whether or not Terrence Crawford stepped aside so Earl Spence could fight so they could do a rematch. And honestly, man, this is my honest opinion about all of this, right? I'm a fan of Earl. I am a fan of Earl. But I don't understand why is Earl taking a um, a Fondora fight and he, he only fought one time in basically three years. He was off what? A year and a half, or no, it was over a year before he fought Terrence Crawford. He clearly looked like he had ring rust in there, and then he ain't fought since then. And now they're talking about reports that he's supposed to be fighting Fondor in early 2025. So basically, he ain't fought in it'd be almost two years. So pretty much, you fought one time in three years, and then you coming back in. I don't know. I mean, hopefully. Listen, if Earl comes back and fights, I hope he beat Sebastian Fondor, but then I don't want to hear these, these games. I'm the A-side. No, you're not. You're not the A-side because you lost to Terrence Will Crawford. But we know how, how politics go in boxing. My bad, y'all. I'm going to wash my car. I know it's late. But I got that um, subscription where you get unlimited car washes. But, um, hey, listen. If they fight and they get it on, cool. But I did want to see Terrence but Crawford fight Fandora. But if they got a, a wink, wink side, you know, step aside, uh, business agreement on the back end for Bud Crawford and Earl Smith to fight at 154, then so be it. But I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Um, oh, I'm good. To get this car washed, but um, but yeah, you know, so we'll have to see. <laughs> I see my car getting washed, but uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I, I just I'm, I I really wish that Earl would have took a uh, maybe one or two tune-up fights, especially when you moved up to 154 pounds. You know, Bud moved up, won a belt. I'm, I'm just trying to understand how can you come off a devastating loss, basically two years or a year and a half, and then you get a, a, a shot at two belts and a, and a higher weight class, you know? But I don't know. Like I said, y'all y'all, y'all, tell me all the time, I'm crazy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know boxing, even though you really can't do that. You know what I mean? Now, uh, Earl Smith did say he, he had to get eye surgery. And he said that's why his timing was off and all. I don't believe any of that. I, I just think that, you know, he had an accident. He into the punishment. Um, he had that real car, bad car accident. I think he had one or two of them as well. So, you know, and, and then he getting up there in age. So, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Um, I Like I said, I, it, it's just a report. You never know what's, what, what's going to go down until they actually get in the ring. But let me know what y'all think.